Anything I Want presents the Anything I Want Weekly, a wellness and faith-based weekly newsletter delivered straight into your inbox every Monday afternoon. To sign up, go to anythingiwant.com or click the link in the description below. Be sure to follow Anything I Want on Instagram for unique wellness and faith-based content. Today's episode comes from September 4th, 2023. Scarcity versus abundance. Scarcity is very real, but it has no place in God's kingdom. It is true that situations can at times seem dire. However, scarcity is a word void of faith, while abundance is bursting with it. God has made it clear that without faith, it is impossible to please him because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. God is the creator of the universe. He is patient, merciful, and loving of all, even those who hate him. God gave the physical world to his fallen son, Lucifer, you might have heard of him. Lucifer, renamed Satan after his fall from grace, is not a huge fan of God. He wants to do things his way while simultaneously making God seem like the orchestrator of all things bad. In reality, I have come to understand that God is the source of all things good and the tamer of all things bad. Satan loves chaos, not only because it is a result of him being able to do whatever he wants at any time, but also because it makes people doubt God's existence. After all, how can God be real if all of this evil persists, right? God is real because despite all the bad things, there is still good in this world. Satan wants chaos, greed, selfishness, and debauchery. Romans 6.23 tells us the wages of sin is death, not just physically, spiritually too. Sin-based actions are a result of not enoughness. It is possible to be rich and live in scarcity, just as it is possible to have little but live in abundance. For example, a rich person might continue to cause harm upon the world because he does not feel he is rich enough. Meanwhile, someone with less might choose to give their time, love, and resources to others who are also in need. God is all about abundance because he is a God of daily bread. This is most vividly illustrated in Exodus 16 where we follow the story of God sustaining the Israelites in the desert by sending them daily manna from heaven. Anyone who hoarded the manna sent by God out of fear of not enoughness would find it rotten and full of maggots the next day. Abundance does not mean excess. It means sustenance. It means maintaining trust and gratitude, even when everything looks chaotic. The rules of the physical world wants you to believe you are in a dire situation with no possible way out. Meanwhile, God wants you to have a relationship with him because he has a way of being that transcends the rules of the physical world that Satan has manipulated. Satan wants us to be angry and doubt God's love and existence. Instead of seeing the truth of the fact that we can live with faith and peace, even when money is low, a loved one has passed, or the world is in chaos. Satan does not want us to recognize that it is actually his negative forces that create these scenarios. After all, 
death and suffering only began after the serpent successfully tempted Eve in the Garden of Eden. To live with an abundance mindset is to live with faith. I have been healed from intrusive thoughts, depression, and anxiety. However, lately I have been struggling with a random onset of loud negative thoughts that try to make me feel anxious and sad about where my life is. Why am I working so hard but seeing no results? Is all of this futile? How much longer will I not have a clear growth in my business? How much longer must I sit in this blind uncertainty? How much longer must I walk by faith? After being attacked by these intrusive thoughts for about two to three days, one night they were keeping me up, getting louder and louder. Then suddenly I remembered a Bible quote that made such an imprint on my soul that it popped up in a dream a few nights prior. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119 verse 105 I began to respond to every negative thought with the truth of God's word. What God says about me and the life he wants to give those who choose to walk with him in faith. The negative thoughts lost their power and soon all I could hear was God's promises. I realized I had so much to be grateful for despite my unwanted circumstances. I saw these negative thoughts for what they were, negative forces trying to make me doubt the work I am doing. If you aim to do good in the world or live a blameless life, negative circumstances will aim to derail you. I have a lot of not ideal circumstances in my life right now. However, I also have a deeper love for my Creator and a peaceful heart despite everything. I believe the true strength of an abundance mindset is in knowing that you have the Creator of the universe on your side. You know that even when things look awful and unpleasant in your life, God promises those who trust in Him that their latter days will be even better than their former. Whatever you have lost, he will give back with more. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and will never fail. And especially when things are unpleasant, his grace is sufficient because he is true to his word. He is a God who never fails. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification button. It really helps the channel. And remember to check out the anythingiwant.com website for free resources such as guided meditations, online courses, wellness-based artist interviews, short films, and more. If you would like to support Anything I Want monetarily, you can either donate or shop anythingiwant.com. Thank you and have a blessed rest of your day.